Peace, 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 and many blessings, everyone. Back in time with yet a novel, most pristine, fine, and definitely most sincere and genuine new video. Brother Henry, or Soul Screamer upload, Brother Henry or Hank Soul Conscious, number 4,400 or 4,400, also known as Ibmore, One Man Army Against Racism, also known as Brother Sincere 4,400 or Brother Sincere 44. Peace and blessings to all of you, especially my viewers, subscribers, listeners, regardless of what station of mine you are that you're viewing this on, to all of my new subscribers, followers, visitors, guests, or people, I'm your humble brother, servant, guest, mentor, acquaintance, guide, and hopefully new pal and friend. I want to say welcome, peace, and many blessings to you, all the best in life. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't just... um you know settle for this video go through the archives all three of my main stations like share subscribe sub for sub if you like spread the word save it to your playlist and share the video uh from time to time those of you who would like to donate um you know i do appreciate it i don't do what i do because of the money but from time to time some of you do give and donate you help bring revenue to the station I contribute to the station directly from my own pocket as well I love and appreciate it every penny nickel dime dollar or two helps you can donate my PayPal again is paypal.me forward slash uppercase Henry or Hank soul 4400 again paypal.me uppercase forward slash uppercase Henry or Hank Soul 4400. If you want to collaborate, do a solar live stream, audio interview, hang out together, or you have any comments, questions, suggestions, articles, or stories you want to send for me or video suggestions, I'm always an email, text, or voicemail away at the Soul Conscious Line, area code 1347-641-7056. Please use an unrestricted number as it may not work with a restricted number or borrow a different number if yours is restricted. Or by email at lowercasehankac0516 at gmail.com or lowercasehenrythehardwork at gmail.com, lowercasehankac0516 at gmail.com. Make a note of it. You can rewind this video, click to save it, share their playlist. Don't forget to hit the bell button, like, share, subscribe, spread the word even if the station isn't for you it may be of benefit to someone else so uh let's get right into it um another hard-hitting uh you know interesting topic i'm continuing this is the volume one part nine of the gender war solution series um i want to take you to some empirical evidence from the huffington post and even though i don't agree with everything they say and do I'm just using this empirical evidence. It's a chart which talks about even still today when it comes to income disparities and employment and stuff like that. Uh, blacks, copper people, melanated Latinos and others are still unfairly uh, stereotyped, discriminated. There's still a big income gap. But not necessarily that the topic is about, you know, the income gap, even though it's interrelated, it ties into the fact that because of poverty and lower incomes, we don't have access to all the resources and the options that are the dominant society or so-called Caucasian or white counterparts do. But basically, um, uh, the topic is not so much economical. Uh, also, make sure to like, share, subscribe. These are my three main current stations. Um, like, share, subscribe, sub for sub. You could go to the community page or the description on most of my more recent videos. It has the channel URLs and IDs. Like, share, subscribe to all three. If you need help or you need me to send you the links, please message me. I'll be happy to do so. Make sure you click the bell button so you can be notified of upload solar live streams. Uh, so anyway, getting back to it, uh, the topic for this volume one part nine is going to be mainly the um, one of the issues that causes division among us um, as as blacks, Latinos, copper, bronze, all or non-white or melanated peoples um, is um, 
the programming and propaganda, low self-esteem combined with self-hatred. Part of that that's tied into that is the um, this um, agenda uh, known as the bed bucking ghetto gagger programming agenda. Now I don't want now this is a verbal disclaimer. If I get a chance, I'm gonna try to type it into disclaimers physically as well in the descriptions. But just in case it doesn't fit or it's not there yet, I want you to know that um you know that this is not a video about per se about interracial dating. I'm not here to attack or bash anyone. I'm not here to hate on anyone or to insult anyone, call anyone names or anything like that. This video is simply to intellectually explain some of the societal conditioning, programming, brainwashing, as well as perpetual self-hatred and low self-esteem that is causing uh, the breakdown in our community because we as people should have a code regardless of who we date. We should have self-respect of our culture, heritage, or race and everything that we as a people have had to endure and go through since, um, you know, from regardless of what part of the world we're from, from the days of the transatlantic holocaust or slave trade to now. Um, that regardless whether we choose to date in or out of our race, there should be a code of mutual decency, like uh, mutual respect, or where we can like sit down and discuss these things intellectually without unfairly bashing or name calling each other, or you know putting each other down unnecessarily, attacking each other verbally or otherwise. And unfortunately, that's just not the case. In some cases, some of us are not mentally mature or intellectually mature enough to uh, do that or understand that, but we need to have more of these intellectual discussions um, and uh, approaching it from an intellectual point of view and being able to discuss these things in a mature adult way without breaking down into lashes on each other like kindergarten children. So, no offense, I'm not trying to stereotype and say that all kids are like that, but you get the drift. So, anyway, um, as we all know, there is a uh, rise in levels of uh, intercultural, interracial dating, um, even though the majority of black men that are married are still so-called black or copper men are still with women of their own race and uh, 89 to 90 percent of so-called uh, black or copper women and uh, uh, two-thirds or more of Latinas are st uh, married still stay within their own culture or race. There is a, g a growing percentage of those that are choosing to date out. And uh, like I said, I'm, this isn't about interracial dating, but what I'm saying is, is that there, um, in, there's a programming going on of bed bucking and ghetto gagging and basically what it is is that um, um, a, a mostly poor or hood type uh, or those that come from insufficient social and economic means are hired oftentimes and many of these are actors or amateur actors or amateur um, you know whatever you want to call them uh, gigolos, holes and thoughts that are taken and they're making our culture and race look bad by being hired to do grading things with people of the dominant society. And, um, you know, I just think that it's uh, very unfortunate that they're being economically and politically and socially exploited to do these degrading things. It's one thing to choose out. It's another thing when you're being paid money by the dominant society to go into videos to degrade you both individually and you as a collective and make you look bad. And um, I think that there comes a point where you have to have enough self-respect for yourself and we have to have concern about our image as a group. Like, why should we degrade ourselves in this manner? Um, you know, there's no um, real need for that um, 
you know, necessarily there are other ways that you can make money. If one job isn't enough, you could get an additional job. You could do, you could go online and research ways to make passive income. You could go into multi-level marketing, which is I'm looking into dibbling, dabbling, and looking into some of that myself. There are other more respectful ways that we as a people can make money on the side. You could get a vendor license, sell stuff in the street. You know, sell food, sell gifts, sell commodities. But even if you if you do decide that you want to do that adult video business thing, there are other ways to go about it without degrading ourselves like that. And we don't stop to think intellectually how this makes us as a group look bad. I mean, it's one thing to choose to date out, and I'm not here to play God or anything like that. I don't think it's my place to, like, you know try to uh, necessarily tell people who or who they shouldn't date. Me personally, I um, I uh, prefer to stay with my melanated uh, black, Latina, biracial, and uh, Afro-Latina and all of her sisters. That's my uh, preference, but um, if your preference is different, like I said, I'm not here to put anyone down or attack anyone, so please don't leave any ignorant comments because they will be reported to YouTube or deleted. Again, the video isn't about interracial dating. It's about the programming and conditioning that's causing a lot of um, minorities to degrade, so-called minorities or non-whites to particularly black or copper women and Latinas and Afro-Latinas to and the men to do these bed bucking and ghetto gagging um, exploits and activities for money. And what they don't understand is that they make the whole collective, not just themselves individually, look bad. And this is why a lot of us get labeled. We get labeled as being a people that's not intellectual. We get labeled as being dumb. Even though we know that's not the case, there are some of us that are educated, that are brilliant, and even though as a collective we have our problems, there are those of us individually that are excelling, that are doing great things. Some of us are entrepreneurs, teachers, lawyers, doctors, um, millionaires. But in spite of the accomplishments, the dominant society is still trying to program and stereotype us as anything, nothing but. So with that being said, we need to teach future generations that there's better ways to go about making money or breaking into entertainment than doing these things. And it you know, whether you choose to date out or not, I think there comes a point where you have to intellectually draw the line and say, like, look, um, even if I don't, if I'm not interested in um, preserving my genetics by staying with my own or I want to date out, I dilute my genetics. At least we should be on code enough to respect each other as a group. I mean, all the groups of people, when they date out, even if they date out, they still maintain a code. You're not going to go, you're not going to see them, um, do, you know, degrading each other or slamming or throwing their whole group under the bus because they choose to date out or stop um, doing constructive things or engaging in business or educating themselves better or going into entrepreneurship and building with each other just because they choose to mate or date someone of all the race. No other group other groups don't do that. It's only so-called copper black Afro Latin Afro Latinas and some Latinos are other non-whites. There are some exceptions, but generally speaking it's blacks and so-called Afro Latinos and Latinos or mixed biracials that are doing these degrading things, which is reflecting bad on all of us. And it's not fair for you to drag the whole group and make the whole group look bad, um, you know, because you want to make some quick money in the degrading way. It doesn't serve or make us look any good. And I think it's sad that we as as melanated peoples, our self-esteem and self-respect is so absent and so low. Our low self-esteem, our self-hatred. When I'm talking about self-hatred, I'm not talking about on an individual level, collective level. The dysfunction that goes on, the breakdown of the family units has degraded us to such a level that we're willing to do just, uh, some of us are willing to do just about anything for a quick buck. Even if it makes, if it makes our whole group look terrible, look bad. And then not only that, 
but then you're going along with the dominant society narrative to label us in a bad way. Like, oh, like we're like if we choose to date out, that we have to be so desperate that they're willing to degrade ourselves. I mean, if you want to date out, there's ways you can go about it. You don't have to degrade yourself. You don't have to bed buck and ghetto gag. But these are the results of um, programming, conditioning, self-esteem, lack of presence of fathers or parenting skills in the home, all these are different factors that have plagued us the last several hundred years from the period of um, enslavement and Jim Crow and all the various things too numerous to list to now. And so I just wanted to, you know, discuss this in a calm intellectual way, present some objective empirical evidence, statistics and facts that shows that this is not something to be proud of. This is very negative. And like I said, this video isn't about interracial dating per se. I'm just using that to as it interrelates to um, some of us being willing to degrade ourselves. If you choose to date out, that's on you. But there's respectable, more respectable ways, humane ways you can go about it without having to degrade ourselves and do all these things. Like all the groups of people, we need to be more concerned about our collective image. You know, individual image is important, but what affects us more as a collective is our collective image. We need to start having a code morals against standards and prize like all the cultures and race so-called races of people do but anyway like i said i hope no one took this video the wrong way i'm not on here to attack anyone or degrade anyone or pick on anyone i'm just stating the truth and the honest everyday facts uh spitting these these truth flames and what's going on out here uh, this craziness needs to, you know, we need to get a grip on ourselves and pick up our self-esteem from off the floor and uh, have more dignity and respect about ourselves. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for joining me. Continue to follow my other videos, including this mini-series. I hope this has been helpful. Gender War Solutions Volume 1 Part 9. Like, share, subscribe. Save it in your playlist so you can click to share it. Enjoy the smooth music as we cruise out. Click the bell button. And if you want to sub for sub or collaborate, let me know. And remember the PayPal. You can rewind my emails. If you have any questions, I'm always a comment, email, text, or voicemail away. Thank you so much. Peace and many blessings. All the best in life. And even if this station isn't for you, refer it to offers so that they can benefit from it. These are my three main stations again. Remember to go to the community about a discussion page at the bottom of my videos where the descriptions to get the channel URLs and IDs or you can write me if you need help. Like, share, subscribe, spread the word, sub for sub, click that bell button. Thank you so much for coming by. If you didn't get a chance to watch the video straight through, save it and watch the rest of it later. Peace and many blessings as we cruise out, and I will catch you guys on the fly in the next video. Peace, peace, peace.